as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you hello everybody I'm gonna build another project and uh, I never throw nothing away so I probably got the scrap laying around to do that I hope you enjoy this little video and uh, use what you got it's what I do so enjoy this is part two of building a enclosed trailer out of a motorcycle trailer you can find part one by clicking on a link at the end of this video pretty easy to recognize this it's a bed frame well I found that if you don't need real heavy-duty angle iron as you can see in this one here you can cut that apart and you've got a pretty good piece of angle iron here that's angle iron that'll work for most light cases oh, sorry about that uh, anyway you just grind off the little pedestals there take it apart all you need is a a little uh, cutoff wheel like this and you can do about anything you want with that kind of stuff and usually you can pick up those bed frames at an auction or maybe you got them even laying around your house so they're free laying around their house and you can pick them up at the auction for just a few dollars it's a lot cheaper than buying new angle iron hope this little tip helps because this is what I'm going to use on this project okay once you've uh, ground all your rivets out and you got the thing all apart then just take your punch Put it right on where the rivet is. Take your little hammer out of there. I can't do it with one hand, but you can get the idea. Take the hammer, bang, bang, and then that knocks out the rivet so you got a nice clean piece of angle iron. You'll end up with, uh, let's see, six pieces of angle iron out of one bed. Small stuff like this and the bigger, like over there. Very usable reusable as you can see I've got the braces cut and painted what I've done here to get all the holes in the exact same spot is I made a little bracket so I could drill right through each hole after clamping it down to the area I wanted it put the little mark right there so I would know exactly the perfect spot. Then I used my drill, drilled the hole, and that's how it got there. And this is uh, what it's going to look like once we get her done. We got it laid together right now. This will all be uh, bolted to the braces and probably welded along there also on spots. I painted the bottom of the rails black it will match the brackets it's just going to be pointed towards the road I just want to keep rust down to a minimum well this part is done both sides are put on I don't know what you'd call these little wings I guess because the wall is going to go out a little further because I needed more room inside but they're all uh, put on for the first time these will have to come back off again because the rail will bolt on here where the wall the rail will bolt on here and then the wall will go up from there so that, uh, that's no big deal they're just on there loosely now anyway I want to add that so far, all the nuts and bolts that I've used on here, I got given to me by a cousin of mine we called Bones. He used to work at a Harley shop and he'd bring, down, bring home all the extra nuts and bolts that would come with a kit if they didn't need them all. And he gave me two five gallon buckets of bolts that I had to sort through. So yeah, use what you got. I'm going to call this part done. On to the next. In the next video, 
I'm going to start putting the studs up for the walls. I should be able to make a complete video out of that because I want to keep these videos short so I don't bore you. Some of you will find it interesting, others will not. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.